Hello fellow producer, this is Ernesto, and today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Corderone Guitar Reveries. Before we begin, I want to give you a little taste of what this plugin can do, so let's listen to one of my favorite presets called Natural 2. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Before I jump into this video, I wanted to quickly say that for this review, I was given a free copy of this plugin. I was not paid in any way. I can still say whatever I want about this plugin, but I uh, just want to let you know that, hey, I was given this for free. All right, so first things first, who made this and what's so special about it? Corderone Guitar Reveries is a contact library made by a brand new company called Variant Samples. In fact, this is their very first product, so you know, give it up for them. The inspiration behind the sounds of this guitar VST is based on the musical palette of a European guitarist named Claudio Corderone. If you're unfamiliar with him, just know that this plugin is going to focus on offering you guitars that sound cinematic, ambient, and abstract. So if you're looking for something more grungy or aggro, this is not the plugin for you. All right, so how does this work? What does it sound like? Similar to a lot of contact libraries these days, you're able to take two sound sources and blend them together. I really like this workflow. I think it makes layering sounds uh, faster, easier. It just makes a lot of sense. Like we're always layering things, so let's make it as easy as possible. So what are these sound sources like? Well, you're given uh, 25 different guitar play styles to choose from. And that's, that's a decent amount to work with. And as I explore them, there's a lot of solid options that I came across. You have some cool sustains to work with. Yep. You have uh, some mutes to play with. You have some really cool guitar pads to play with that are affected by the mod wheel. Also on the main panel, you have um, some macros here that are super handy to use. Um, the first one here controls the wet dry amount of the uh, reverb and delay. This one here controls a filter. This is saturation, width, and another kind of tremolo, like LFO tremolo thing here. And if you click the effects tab, you have some more effects that you can play around with. So this is a really straightforward instrument. There's not a whole lot you can do. It's quite limited. It has a single lane here. It's all about cinematic guitars. So let's talk about things that I really love about it. One thing I like about it is that it's really easy to use. It's very easy to blend layers and it's all thanks to the, the UI. On the main panel, you have pretty much all the controls that you want to mess with as you're tweaking sounds. And thanks to how easy it is to use, when I first started using this, I wasn't lost, I wasn't overwhelmed. I mean, the UI allowed me to just start playing. And when it comes to sound design, I really think that the less barriers there are, the better. Cool, something else I really love about this plugin are the presets. Here's another really cool guitar preset called Air Guitar. There's another preset called Soft Woodwinds. And here's a pads preset called Reverse Pad D. Yeah, that one's really cool. Something else I really love are the reverbs and delays. I think they sound great. So as you look at the delay and reverb controls here, um, the controls are pretty minimal. And usually I like to have more options, uh, more control in the reverb and delay, but they sound so good that I'm like, all right, fine. Like I'm down to just have a few little knobs to choose from. So let me show you what I mean. All I have is a sustain, a sustained guitar. Yeah, so you have my sustain. Now let's just listen to the, the delay first and hear how that sounds. Let me bring up my wet dry knob here. Boom. Maybe it's too much feedback. Cool, so it's like a ping pong delay. Great, fantastic. And then when you add in the reverb, it just takes it to a whole other level. If you allow me to put this review on pause for a quick second, I want to ask you to like this video if you feel like you're learning a whole lot about this plugin, if, you, if you're discovering if it's right for you. And by liking this video, more of my stuff will pop up on your feed so that you can keep learning about what I'm learning.
and also might fuel your plugin addiction, which I think uh, could be pretty cool. Okay, so let's talk about where this plugin can improve because this is not a perfect plugin <laughs> by any means. It's a cheap plugin, it's under 80 US dollars, so I can't be too mad at it, but there are still some minor notes that I wish were different about it. I really wish there was a visual compressor in this plugin. You know, you have like EQ, filter, saturation, stereo width, but where's the compressor? Like it, <laughs> when I used this in one of my projects recently, um, the way I worked around the compressor was uh, the lack of compressor, was making sure my MIDI notes had the same velocity, uh, more or less. Um, but I really think that a compressor in this plugin would uh, help benefit it, just make it a little bit more valuable. One other thing that I think is missing is a macro like a custom macro that you can assign to, to anything here. So if you wanted to increase, uh, you know, the bit rate or decrease the bit rate or increase the depth of the course, um, that would be really cool. And just like, just totally space. You just scoot them all over and just add in a, a custom macro would be great. And the last couple of things I wanted to point out is that I feel like there's a couple of things missing from this main uh, UI panel here. One is like some arrows on the side of these sound sources that would allow you to cycle through um, each each sound. Um, because for example, like when I was demoing out the pads, like Guitar Pad 1, cool, I tried it out. I have to click, scroll down, go to 2. All right, now I have to click, scroll down, go to 3. I wish there was just some arrows to kind of cycle through them a bit quicker. Something else that I think is the last thing I think is missing is uh, some little EQ um, on the front here because you know EQ is really important when layering. Uh, and the, yeah, this here is present on the effects, but man, it'd be really nice if they were hanging out right underneath the ADSR. It'd be super cool. But once again, those are really nitpicky things. Um, that, I don't think that should deter you from wanting this kind of plugin. Um, but if it were there, ooh, it would make it you know, the biggest chef's kiss ever. Okay, so price and where to buy this thing. You can buy this plugin at variantsamples.com. At full price, it is $79 US, which I think is cheapest for a library like this. Since Variant Samples is a brand new company, I'm not sure how often they offer sales, but if there are ever sales on this plugin, I'm sure it would just sweeten the deal so much more. So is this plugin worth it? Do I recommend it? All right, if you want an affordable cinematic guitar library, then yeah, this this is worth it. I mean, based on my experience, I mean, there were so many times where I'd be noodling around and I would like wonder to myself, like, am I a guitar player now? Keep in mind, this plugin can't do everything. It chooses a lane, it sticks with it. And if you're a beginner who's looking for their first guitar library, then I think this is this could be really perfect for you. The price is very entry level, it's really simple, it's easy to use, and as a beginner, I feel like you can jump into this, not feel overwhelmed, not feel confused or lost, and that's a really good feeling when you're, when you're starting off in music production. But whoever you are, I hope that by watching this review, you'll find out if this plugin is right for you. And that's everything you need to know about Quarteron Guitar Reveries. If you want to learn more about this, just click the link in the description below. Now stop watching, go finish some music, and thanks for hanging out. Later.